Wow, would you look at that. Literally six days later, we are back in Las Vegas. As you guys know, we were just here for SEMA the previous week. We spent seven days here. And quite honestly, I love Vegas. But once you reach like three, four days in this city, you're really itching to leave. But I got home and literally 24 hours after being home, I got reached out by the Wynn Hotel. Like the actual Wynn Hotel themselves which is actually pretty crazy. And they invited me to come out to the concourse event, which is a hypercar celebration event, and it's right before the weekend of F1. So I hopped on a plane and I came straight back out here, but this trip is a little bit special because we have a special guest with us. Now about two and a half weeks ago, three it's weeks me. ago, I made a video it's me. talking about how Sabrina went in for some surgery and it was another brain surgery. It was an emotional time. Let's just, we'll call it as it is. And come here, she's, She's I back. I wanted to welcome her back because there were so many of you who commented on that video and watched that video. And if you've been watching the channel for a long time, you know about Sabrina's journey. And we're what, two and a half weeks post-op? Two and a half, Wednesday will be three. You never you never would be able to tell, would ya? So she had a surgery that was called an LITT, which is essentially just a freaking laser beam. That's essentially what it is. Essentially, I'm a robot now, you guys. Um, and it uh, burns and I don't know, evaporates, but it burns the brain tissue onto where her tumor was oh, growing. No, it does not burn the brain tissue, it burns the tumor that grew, actually. That's so. what I meant. That's what I meant. See, I'm not a doctor, okay? But the recovery time on that, uh, crazy on how the world has progressed and technology has progressed, the recovery time on that is like a little over a week. And she has to actually play it cool for the first like three to four weeks and not have like crazy activity and this and that. Long story short, we're out here for like 24 hours and she wanted to come along and I'm super stoked to have her here. So she is back in action and you could tell you're like, Dan, they're probably, they're, they're looking kind of spiced up right now. They're looking, TJ's wearing a collared shirt. This event that we're going to is very, not really our style. I'll be, I'll be frank. It's very high end. It's very high uh, fashion. Is that the word, Sabrina? Fashion? Um, it's high class. High class. <laughs> it's all hypercars. It's a concourse event, which means it's on their golf course, the wind golf course. It's gonna be pretty, it's gonna be wild. I can't wait to see what we get into today because we only have a few things that we're supposed to go and see. And I'm actually here creating stuff for Instagram and creating stuff for TikTok. And I thought, dude, I'm gonna bring the boys along and, and get a little vlog in. And I was gonna upload this for the Clips channel and I'm like, nah, Clips channel's taking a back seat. This is for the main channel, baby. Uh, so we have a schedule to attend to. Let's go get some breakfast. It's already 9 a.m. Last night we got picked up from the airport in a Rolls Royce. First time ever getting picked up in a Rolls Royce. It First was, have you ever been in a Rolls Royce? Uh, yeah. I think so. But that, that was like, that was like we were in like the proper one where you had like five feet of leg room in front of you and it was the starry ceiling. Dude, it was I don't funny. know if it was a phantom. It I don't was, know what it was um, called. It was a phantom? Cargo? You don't know that. You don't know that. You don't know no, that. I do she know that because know. It, said, it said on the front phantom. You know what? Did you really? Watch, I'll let the vlog. I'll let the vlog. Just back. text me. The, I'll put the photo on screen. She's trying to show right now. What's cool is because F1 is only next week, there's all this like F1 advertisement. Pretty sick. So we just got to this event. It's called the Win Concourse. And if you're not familiar with like Pebble Beach or Monterey, they do a show that's called like the Concourse. And it's pretty much just wildly expensive cars, very rare cars presented on the golf course. So the presentation and environment is awesome. Unfortunately, they're playing a lot of music, so I'm gonna do my best to kind of film. Uh, just speak really loudly. Well, the music. Well, they're gonna demonetize the video. There's a lot of wild stuff here, and it's on the Win Golf Course. As just, you guys know, I'm a huge golfer. Uh, I'm just excited to be on the golf course in general. We just passed through a cool area with a bunch of wild stuff. I'm holding off on filming the stuff until I can kind of oh, pick out my speaker. favorite we're by stuff. A I know we're by a speaker. I'm gonna hold off for just one second. Yo, there's like a fire over there. Did you see the fire? Deep over there. I don't know if I can get it on camera. <laughs> oh yes, I can. <laughs> Uh oh, uh -oh. fire alert. Everyone better move their $13 million cars. They haven't even gotten to like the main show yet and Sabrina saw ass. Sabrina's a huge Aston Martin fan. I love Aston What's Martin. What's your deal with Aston Martin? Dude, look at that thing. That's an F1 car. Oh, you're talking about the SUV. Yeah, the DDX, I think it is. Wow. Maybe wanting to trade the Urson for that. Sometimes. It's always cool to see Val. Valvin's a new sponsor of Aston Martin, which if you guys don't know that, now you do. But that's how when we were in Qatar, when we were at the F1 race, we got the behind the scenes of the whole Aston Martin garage because we have inside links through Valvoline and the guys watch the channel, but that's cool to see. You like this thing? I think the rear end of this car looks really good. Yes, it's dirty. It looks like- Yes, um, it's dirty. It looks like, why are you <laughs> No, I'm not trying to be me. I like this. Like this is very McLaren like 760. Like Ow, I just got don't shocked. Do Sir, don't I just got shocked. Do not look at the interior. It is very pretty. But this over an Urus? Are you kidding me? Oh, it is really cool looking in here. This thing is 
can't say dirty. Are you? No, you could say dirty. I just thought it was funny because everyone who like probably doesn't isn't what? from America is like, what? It's dirty? <laughs> what does that What does that mean? It's definitely good looking. I don't know if it's my favorite looking SUV out there, well, but here's my thing. I think it looks like Ferraris. Don't judge me. What is it called? I don't even know what it's called. So Ferrari's SUV. Oh, okay. This, it looks like it, and I think the Ferrari SUV is amazing. I don't think the people of Aston Martin here want to hear you say this looks like Ferrari SUV, but... Why? That's doing them a solid, honestly. Whoa, man! Easy, man! I'm just trying, yeah. to, I'm just trying to get to your nuts! That's my nuts, man! Yeah, man, nuts.com. I'd be snacking on Calvin's nuts all day long because they're coming from nuts.com. Seriously though, nuts.com you guys has everything that belongs in your pantry. They got things from nuts, they got things to fruits, they got things from specialty flowers for cooking. They have everything. They got candy, the list goes on and on. Whether it's Calvin's nuts or from trying to get into Dylan's nuts. Hey. His are a little bit special because they are actually chocolate covered gummy bears. The candy selection, top shelf. The nut selection also do be top shelf. Everything that you might find in your pantry it's all available on nuts.com. Whether you're trying to indulge in sweets, or you're trying to play it safe, play a little bit healthy, or you're trying to be gluten-free, or you have allergies to nuts, the one-stop shop is nuts.com. And I've been able to secure you guys a special offer from them. If you're a first-time customer, you can get a free gift and free shipping on your order if it's over $29. All of this is available at nuts.com forward slash hunt, or you can just click the links down below in the description, and it will take you straight to the site where that deal that we secured still stands. Thank you to nuts.com for keeping us filled with all the snacks in the shop to keep everyone going because we be getting hungry. They said there was like a Porsche test drive. <laughs> and I'm, I've been to enough of these right now. It's not actually going to be anything TJ's cool. TJ's over here like, maybe I could drive a new GT3 RS? No. Taycan test drive. I don't want to test drive a Taycan. <laughs> We've all driven a Tesla before. No thanks. Whoa, what's this? No, this is like what the show is going to be a lot of. I have no idea what this is. Absolutely no idea. I'm not well versed pinin, in the hypercar pinin, world. Pina Faria B. No, sorry, a Pinin Faria. You want to go join the photo with them? Nope. Okay. Okay. I could really care less about this car, but what I'm looking at, look how beautiful this golf course is. I would kill to be playing on this golf course right now. That thing is sick. What is that? Spring, I want to look at this. This is cool though. Very cool looking. I don't know. It doesn't really interest me that much. I don't know what the heck this thing is, but this thing is crazy. You see that thing? That thing is wild. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. Wow. What the? Oh, it is a Rolls Royce. Dude, that is crazy. The round door rolls. 1925 Rolls Royce Phantom 1. Aerodynamic coupe by John Cherokee. Goes top speed of 80 miles an hour. Wow. Okay, we just found the new Ferrari SUV. Serena's a big fan of that. Let's go check it out in person after you just talked. I told you I thought the car didn't look that good. It looks, come on. Are you kidding me? I don't love it. I don't love it. I actually hate Oh my gosh, it's like- Use the H word. It's tiny. It is very small. It, it's just- is it, I mean, unless this is like a Puro, I don't even know what it's called. It just, it's no that, you know? It looks like a bigger version of this. Okay, well, 812 is amazing. No. This is definitely not. Let's look at the inside. Let's look at the inside. I mean, it's pretty. But I would exactly. much rather, I'd much rather have an Urus How do you open this. this door? Is I'm the sure real it's... Oh, it's right there. It's like a suicide door. I don't know how it works, oh, but mm -mm. it's... Not my best. In-person rating, oh my not too good. Okay, probably gonna be our favorite car here. Singer, are you kidding me? This thing is beautiful. Look at the front end of that. The paint on it is such... Oh gosh, the BBS air discs. That's so sick. Wow, wow. Holy crap, I would love to drive something like this. Dude. That's insane. Oh my God. Sick Those BBSs. Ones. Look at the look Those at look at this wheel. The concave on that is crazy. Dude. Excuse me, ma'am, are you here alone? Um, sorry, I, my boyfriend's actually somewhere. <laughs> Unpopular opinion, I would much rather have a turbo GT than an Urus. This thing actually has the Nurburgring time for the fastest SUV in the world. 
so sick. Let's trade the Urus. So, yeah, this is a lot more than an Urus. Really? Oh yeah, are you kidding me? Love to see it. PTS, Ruby Star on a Turbo S. Ruby That's PTS. What? PTS. PTS. Come on, you know what it means. What, do you, um, what does it mean? 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 Push the socket. Sabrina. PTS. Um, Come on, I know that you know this. PTS? What is Paint. That? Paint a sample. There you go. Okay. Well, how would I? This is apparently Sabrina's first time ever seeing a 918, and she's literally speechless. I could become a Porsche person off of this. It's 10 years old. And how do you not know what a 918 is? Do they not have an updated version? No. They only made it for a few years, and that was it. It was their hypercar. It's motor and electric. This is like the first of its time when they did this. This is not from 2015. Sabrina, yes, oh, yes it is. Where have you been? Look at the interior. This is what me and Sabrina are gonna look like when we're 75 years old. That's us when I was Sabrina Hunt. Before. Wow. This is Manny Koshman's, and I think this is also Manny's? Yeah, Manny. Oh, yes it is. Yeah, we visited his place like, uh, maybe like two years ago, if you guys remember. Um, we saw some of his collection. Absolutely wild stuff. Absolutely insane. Gotta be honest, this is obviously, as you guys know, not a lot of these cars are quite my interest. I don't know a lot about any of these cars, but I did see some Mercy logos over here that I need to go and see. As you guys know, that is something that I'm like desperate to get my hands Porsche. on. A GT2 RS. You drove one of those in Doha. How do you know it's a GT2 RS? I'm uh, you scare me with the random things that you know. Because there are some things that like you you, I have you act like you don't know and then I've been dating you for seven years, you think that I would know. Eventually. I think it was gonna be that one. Yes, gotta love a 2RS. Can I tell you a secret? Yeah, you read it or something. I read it on the side. Wow. Not okay. gonna lie. Okay. Well, there's a, there's a couple of mercies over here I wanna go and see. When we were with Matt Armstrong last week, I was talking with him about buying a Mercedes Lago in the UK, because in the UK, Mercedes Lagos are like half the price of what they are in the United States. Wow. I know it's like that in a lot of different areas in the world, but obviously I don't know every price point at every car in different demographics. What's this? What? It's a 918. You just saw this. How do you not know that? You claim to be a, a fake learning. Porsche fan, I'm and then you see a 918, and then you don't even know. Rick Schuld. Nice car, Rick this Schuld. It's really cool. Yes, it's super, super cool, but it's also wildly expensive. What I'm trying to say is, I really want to go and buy a Mercedes Lago and build it in the UK and then import it because they, it's not legal here till 2025 or 2026. Same rules as like the import laws of JDM cars. Like you can't bring an R34 here until 2024. That whole type of deal. So the Mercedes Lagos there have a 25 year exemption law. I don't know if it's a 2003 or 2004 when Mercedes Lago actually got launched, but long story short is I'm gonna try to find a car with Matt and then build a car out there and then import it here when it's legal, if that makes sense. But this is pretty much my dream. I don't want a Roadster, but yes, this is what I want. A Mercedes Lago. I know what a Roadster means. I have the, it has no top. That's correct. I have this exact car model in my room. I've had it since I was like probably 11 years old and this is the car model that I brought with us to Ogara when I bought my Aventador and I bought the Aventador in yellow because it had the same Mercier Lago yellow. So this is that... the end all be all? End all? No, gosh no, not end all be all, but it's definitely something that I really want to own. If, if somebody came to you right now and said, hey, I'm really interested in your GTR, I'll trade you this car no, for I wouldn't, it. No, you no. Wouldn't. I don't think I would trade any car for this. I just want to have one at one point. I want to have one gated. Why? Just because it's iconic. Look at it. Come over here and look at the back and tell me it's not the most iconic looking. Oh, look at that, look at that, oh. Okay, rude. I compared to all these, stuff. look at the, look at the Oh, that's so cool seeing the yellow and yellow together. I wish those were side by side. That like could be our old car. I kind of have regrets about letting that car go. I know, because you let that car go for the Uricon. RIP, British Racing Green, always goes. Okay, let's not get, <laughs> let's not get everyone fired up down below in the comment section. I just, I don't know, this car means a lot to me. It's really cool to see it. And even cooler than this, they have an SV, or what looks like to be an SV. It has the wing of an SV, but I'm not quite sure if it is an SV. It's modified to a certain degree. Let's go look at the back of it. I mean, I think it's an SV. I'm not the biggest Mercedes logo, like, know-it-all, but this is definitely an SV oh, rear, but it doesn't have any of the branding. Cool. This so is this an SV. Is, this is a Murcielago SV, like an Aventador SV. Yeah. yeah, man, I really hope it's an SV. Cause I could be told, I'm gonna go look, see if the, pl the plaque says anything. Oh, this is this is the Versace, Versace edition? Okay, I don't know what the heck that means. Sabrina might find that interesting. So this is the Versace edition. Oh, of course Is that it the is. Versace logo on the side? No. It's not? Oh, yes it is. Wow. Is it? I thought that said R22. Okay, but it like looks like an SV. Uh, so, I don't know. Scratch everything I just told you guys about this. It might not even be, I don't wow, know. Wow, who are you even? Not even a car guy. I don't know if anyone else <laughs> I grew up. has girlfriends I, that literally how many, wear <laughs> shoes that they know are uncomfortable. You guys, and no. And we, no. we're gonna go walking no, gonna, all gonna day. All day we're walking. I had, I had 
some nice comfy slides on, and TJ was like, I don't really think that's the look. No, I, I was, said, I just okay, said, right, I think I'll white seems to be a better look. She made up her own mind <laughs> everywhere we go. She wears a pair of shoes, and yeah, like after 30 minutes, my have... blisters, oh my gosh, they hurt. And I'm like, well, if you wore socks, you'd feel better. She doesn't wear socks with those shoes because she says they're leather. Yes, and because it's a leather shoe, you don't wear socks. I have leather shoes. I don't know about that. I definitely wear socks. <laughs> I'm just saying. And here she <laughs> is you. now just walking with her hey, no one heels can out. No one can tell. Well, can you tell from? No, you cannot tell. I can't well, be no. the only one who like deals with that. And I'm like, just wear shoes that are comfy. Get you a pair of Vans. Girls suck. Am I right, you guys? No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like Girls women, suck. man. You guys like can't make up your mind women, at all. Man. You just never to wear what's comfortable and then you get dog. You dog right, yourself. You right, you right. Ooh. But we've seen pretty much everything that we want to see. Ooh, we should go to like the Senna's and stuff in the McLaren section. The only thing that I care about though is this this golf course. I want to this, play this golf course. This is amazing. This is such a nice place, man. Can you get out of here, sir? Passing by all these McLarens. I don't want to spoil anything or get anyone's hopes up, but if you remember when we were here last week and we saw Alex Choi's one-off design for his 720, let's just say, I'm not saying under or confirming anything, I think but you are. no, I'm not. I Maybe ex we're trying to work out something. That's all I'm gonna say. We're trying to work something out, and if it happens, I'll be super stoked. And I finally might get my first McLaren, oh, even though they're all they're kind of junk. They're kind of junk. Oh, maybe they they it. fall. I mean, they just like the reliability. They're the fastest track cars, but when it comes to actually like, driving them, this daily dailyability of them isn't always the best. But this is my favorite P1 ever. The HDK, so sick. Ooh. I cannot get over this car. This thing is so sick. Carbon barrels, center lock. The arrow on this is just absolutely insane. I love this car. I literally cannot get over it. Oh my god. Dude. This car, in all black, with the silver wheels, actually leaves me speechless. And I'm not a fan of black cars, you guys have I've said that plenty of times, but a black car with like perfect paint correction and silver wheels, as I've gotten older, all I'll say, is it starts to hit different. It starts to hit real different. All right, we just finished at the concourse. So we came up, showered, and changed. And we're gonna go to our favorite restaurant, which if you guys watched the SEMA vlogs, or actually, honestly, I think it was just on the Clips channel. So if you're not part of the Clips channel, there's just tons you're missing out on. But we are going to our favorite restaurant, which we go to every single time when we come to Vegas. And that's a place called Yardbird. Absolute best restaurant, don't at me. And then we're gonna go to a show tonight, so let's go. I got absolutely worked on the blackjack tables last night, so I'm gonna go cash this in down there too, try to get some money back, and maybe play somewhere else tonight. TJ doesn't like my slops, but I changed into them because- I don't I not, not like them. I just he doesn't like think that, that you, you dress up and then you wear like flip flops, and it's kind of like an These identity. These are nice Dior slides, not flip flops, sir. Okay. Random Maybox sighting. Never been in one of those, but I don't know. They're like, I'm gonna take a wild shot in the dark. No, I would say probably maybe like 350 to four. That's my guess. But it's like a driver's car. It's like the Rolls Royce from last night. Yeah. You don't daily that. Like someone yeah. dailies it for you and yeah. you're just chilling in the back. I don't know what makes them like better than an S class. Again, if you know, comment down below. I'm sure some of you guys know the major differences, but they have to be cool for how much they cost. This is what we almost nearly come here for. This the is biscuits with the jam and the butter. Oh, have they always been this big? Yes. You guys. Top tier. She hasn't had this in like over a year. This jam tastes like Christmas. So good. Maple butter. I'm so excited for this. Next up, fried chicken, mac, chicken waffles. Huge. There it goes. The camera can't focus oh, on it. Oh, that's crazy. So we're outside, oh there it goes. So we're outside crossing over to a different hotel and this is the F1 circuit. Like we're literally on it, it goes down the strip. And all of these bridges and all these windows have all these screens and fences so it makes it like nearly impossible to get a clean shot of the track. The city is doing everything in their TJ. power. Nope, that says TI. Well, it looks like it says They're TJ. They're doing everything in their power so that no one can get a free peep of the F1 race. For everyone who's gonna be here next week, I don't know if I envy you. I think it's gonna be so crazy. Like, look at that. That's Dude, nuts. Dude, right here in a car just zooms out. That's back. nuts. Look at all the lights they have going down. That's crazy, that is insane. Dude. We just came back to the room because the princess needed to change and we're about to go see a show. 
You might ask TJ, what type of show are you gonna see in Vegas? It's like a circus ole, something like that. Cirque Day. The Wynn has a show that they gave us tickets to go and see, so we're gonna go and do that. And I'm gonna sneak the camera inside the show, I'm gonna film the whole entire 90 minutes of it, and I'm gonna upload it on YouTube. I'm gonna upload all of it on YouTube, so everyone can watch it for free. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. Can't play this, you monetize. Oh, oh, yes, get it. We got prime spots. We have complimentary champagne and chocolates. No idea what to expect. I'll give you guys a review after this. So we have this lovely um, assortment of chocolates right here. We have a dark chocolate raspberry truffle. This is chocolate. I'm going to eat that later. We have some uh, macaroons with vanilla. Give a some... bite. Give a bite. Okay. A vanilla macaroon. Oh, shit. oh, you just exploded it. Oh, <laughs> just. Shh. I'm not classy. Makeup. Oh, well, it kind of exploded on you. There's like some like gold paper on it. Mm. Mm -hmm. You were. Oh, this one wasn't stuck at all. Wow. Just want to note that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. White gas. Ooh. Good evening. In the beginning, there was nothing. In the beginning, there was Except nothing. Well, I'm robed up. We have some dinner. Damn, should I get robed up too? <laughs> Uh, tonight for dinner, we got ourselves a steak, a smoothie, creme brulee, some french fries, I don't know, some thing that Sabrina got, I don't know what that, a caprice, I think that's what it's, I, I think that's what it's called. What happened to your robe? I'm too hungry. Wow. <laughs> okay. mm. Just mucked a good breakfast. Our driver just showed up downstairs. Time to go home. zone getting back into the gym rotation the best way to end a Sunday off mid day square while I was gone Kevin house sat the whole entire house does that make sense I don't know if that was that made sense while I was gone Kevin house sat for me and watched all the dogs and while he was here he washed the RS for me because it was super dirty and he also used the garage to do some maintenance work so shout out to Kev for getting this whip nice and cleaned up for me that was a fun trip that was a super last minute thing that I'm glad I was able to bring you guys along and it's always fun when I just get to go and do something with Sabrina and it, it reminds me of like what the vlogs used to be when it was just me and Sabrina just doing random stuff and well I guess Calvin was there too but kind of felt like the olden times which was pretty rare. We have a very exciting week coming up. I hope in the next video, may, the next video or maybe the next next video, we have a very expensive package showing up to the shop that is long overdue. Definitely something to be excited about. I'm excited to unbox it and to see it. It's coming. I'm so stoked for it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out and keep moving forward.